Uh, my name is Christian Jones, I'm 15, I live in Louisville, Kentucky. Louisville's air quality uh, has been a, a challenge for a very long time. We typically make it to the, the tops of lists that people don't want to be on the, the tops of, so, uh, you know, the fourth highest rate of asthma uh, nationally. These are statistics that, you know, are a wake-up call at some level, they're a rallying cry. Um, but for a long time, they were just um, essentially kind of a nuisance because people didn't really know what could be done about it. We had this wonderful experience with Christian Jones, and so we added air monitoring on bicycles into this summer activity for these young people. And Christian, um, he really just a leap of faith on his part. He's like, okay, I, I could be monitoring the air. The type of data I would collect is the particles and stuff going on in the air, like carbon monoxide, carbon dioxide, nitrogen oxide, and basically everything going on in the air. I'd usually go out about once a week. When I'm done with the sensor, I usually take the chip out of it and I place it into my computer. I'd upload it to a certain app on the computer and then um, I'd pull the file from the certain app and then I'd put it, I'd kind of like copy and paste it into a website and then it'd have like all the data and stuff for me, like, kind of like a link. So Christian's data um, really has taught us a lot of things about mobile air monitoring. Mobile air monitoring is a very hard problem. And so what we learned from Christian's work is um, we need to start with a stationary array that we can then compare these mobile samples to. I mean, there may be some things, little signals that get picked up because somebody has a, one on their watch or one on their bicycle. But at the end of the day, air moves, right? So when you're moving and the air is moving, it can be very difficult to determine you know, where the most challenging areas are in our community at any given time. I usually found a lot of pollution like near the river. My route goes near the park and it would like be close to the river and everything so there'd be a lot of pollution down there and there's like a chemical plant down there too. He, from my perspective, uh, is, is the perfect model in many ways for everybody can do this. You know, and, and I mean it's not just something we say cheaply and throw out there. Everybody can do it. Christian, you know, is a model in our community. Well, I guess a citizen scientist is basically just some, someone who helps around the city and like um, tries to like make it healthier and more easy to live for like people who have, who like suffer from things like asthma. Citizen scientist to me is the best thing that's happened in a long time because the citizen scientist is also the future civic leader you know, in many cases, especially when they're young, right? That, they, you know, of all the things you could be distracted with, you know, in this day and age, I would love you to be distracted with a gadget that helps you understand how, how great your environment is.